Hi, my name is Gemma and I'm a return volunteer from a latitude placement in China. I spent four months in a small city called Pua in the Yunnan province. The school I went to was called Pua Number no. One Middle School or Pua Shi Yijong and had about 3,500 kids in it between 50 and 70 a class. So we had, I think we had nine classes a week that were 45 to 50 minutes long. Hi, my name is Caroline. I'm a returned Latitude uh, volunteer. I went to China just after I finished high school and I spent five months there in northern China in a city called Qingdao uh, teaching um, high school students there. They're 15 or 16 years old and I just had the most amazing time, had the most incredible fun and learned so much. Uh, and um, I'm just so glad that I did because I think now um, I really value the kind of the certain perspective that I have on the world, having an understanding of China. I, I really value that I, I have a perspective of being able to understand Chinese people and, and culture and um, and politics and, and food and all that kind of stuff that really makes I feel makes me more more of a, a true global citizen. I love the um, the interaction with the students. The students have come from middle schools where their English classes have consisted of grammar exercises and extensive note taking and not a lot of talking, not a lot of listening. So Getting to actually, you know, play games, um, talk with the students, ask them what they think about a subject. My role within the school was to promote English, um, get the students interested in learning it and enthusiastic about learning it. I wasn't there to teach them perfect grammar, but I was I was there to get them inspired and get them to want to learn English. As for like teaching methods and stuff, it's really different because they focus a lot more on memorizing stuff. They're like, this is the information, you have to know this information. Like self-learning and interaction is a much bigger focus in Western education, so we can bring that to them. Our biggest goal is to get them talking and get them using that language outside of that in like these strict rules and creating their own sentences so they really understand what they're saying. They get really excited about it because they're actually using this language in a way that they didn't know they could. I had a lot of students tell me that their English had improved, which really meant a lot to me because it was really sweet and I just thought, oh, I've done something. <laughs> um, I have this big love for China now. I love the language. I love the culture. I want to go back. My experience in China has been the most decisive and um, transformative experience that I've had that's developed me as a person in my life and, and guided my decisions to date. And so, I encourage you to really believe in yourself and know that you can do it even though it's a foreign place you'll you'll go there and you'll find familiarity and have so much fun. Before coming into coming to Australia, I learned a lot of uh, theoretical knowledge uh, from the books in Chinese. I just uh, I after understanding, I uh, remember it, I repeat it, and do a lot of examinations. But I have no chance to put them into practice. But when I come into Australia, and uh, uh, I met uh, a lot of students, a lot of teachers that taught me a lot of things. So it's a good opportunity for me to put my theory into practice. So I think when I'm back to China, and it's a uh, it's very good uh, experience for me to put them into my future English teaching. Oh, they are doing a very good job in our school. They come to help us with our teaching, the classroom teaching. They help us to build up those, um, the teaching materials such as uh, PowerPoint. There are a lot of their speaking practice, writing practice. And since they are here, they really produce very good help for us. Every day I would teach 
in Australian boys how to speak Chinese and some basic words like this about food, about season, weather, color, animals, and countries and eras. And every day, I will have some Chinese culture games with them. I help the Chinese teacher to organize a class and uh, help her to take some activities with students and prepare for the lessons. Uh, I really enjoy teaching here because um, the people here are very nice and I live in a homestay and uh, the homestay's father, mother and children very nice. Okay, um, you know the teaching strategies in Australia and China is very different and I learned a lot from the teaching strategies in Australia. Uh, I am a po postgraduate in university, so firstly I want to put my experiences, um, I learned the teaching strategies into my assignment and I want to integrate the different teaching strategies from Australia or China and integrate them. Oh, like to, <laughs> I really appreciate this program and I learned a lot from the experience. Mm, I'm really happy to have this kind of experience. Thanks for Latitude Global Volunteering. I really, really enjoyed this period of time. My name is Mike. I am a teacher in Asian Nationalities High School in Yunnan Province. And I also take care of the volunteers. I went to the UK in 2006 at Gordonstown School. It enriched my experience as a English teacher. And also, I improved my spoken English. Our school and the latitude has a history of 12 years. It's a great honor to be the link teacher. Okay, uh, my name is Bao Yan Li. I work for Jiangsu Education Association for International Exchange. Uh, as for my association, we are specialized in the international cooperation and exchange between different countries and China. And we have been working with Latitude for more than 20 years. The Latitude volunteers are very welcomed by the schools here. It's very good and, uh, and they benefit much from this opportunity. On the other side, we still send volunteers to teach in Chinese as a, teaching, as a Chinese language assistant to the uh, Western countries. This is also a very uh, good way for them to improve their English and to know the uh, Western country. And also they can uh, connect the, their school with the Western school and the culture between each other. My name is Kelly. I'm the Latitude China country manager. Um, the volunteers are always very excited about new experience and uh, especially when they just come to China and they're very curious about everything and uh, when they really enjoy the Chinese culture, I'm really happy to see that. And uh, uh, after they, fin they finish their placement, they go back to their home country and they express Chinese culture. And I feel like it's a very good thing because I know a lot of people don't know Chinese culture a lot and the experience can help them with their future life plan and I think that's a great thing for them and uh, I, I feel like I've helped a little so that makes me really happy. Uh, I think for Chinese students, they are too busy studying school s subjects and uh, they don't have much time to um, interact with Western culture. So that's very important for them to know that there's another world out there. Uh, if they have a chance, they should go out to learn a lot more. And uh, also I think um, for young people, it would be really great if they can open their mind and uh, uh, broaden their views to the world.